You know, the only problem is that uh, the people that the president has appointed into power do not share the same vision with him. And I don't blame him because there is nothing he can do. This is a man that uh, mean well for the country. He really want to see Zambia go to a greater height. And it's really serious in building Zambia. But unfortunately, the people that he appointed, which many of them were recommended to him, are not sharing the same vision with him. They don't understand the language that he speaks. And this is a very big problem. That's why we youths from Zambia, the youths that listen to us, must understand that the president loves you in a new way for you. The, the message that you heard today from the SG is not coming from the president. This is why most of us decided to support the president. Because we know him, we know what he can say, we know what he can support. He loves the youths. His language is totally different from the language of some of these officials. And I also don't blame Mr. Imenda today for making that statement. I blame the Minister of Youth and Sports because he doesn't know what he's doing. Minister of Youth and Sports is a slay king. The only thing he's good at is go to gym, bath, dress up nicely, come to his air and go to slay on Facebook, post pictures and videos all over. That's all that he's doing. He's not in touch with the youths. He doesn't even know, he doesn't have the capacity to run the ministry. Because if he has the capacity to run the ministry, if he's in touch with the youth, there is no way Mr. Imenda will be addressing the youth of Zambia when he's just a party a party a CEO. It's the duty of the of the minister, minister of youth, to call the youth. I expected it's over six months since they took over power. I expected him by now to have called for a meeting for the youths. If not possible in Lusaka, go to all the provinces, organize youth conference. Asking the youth, what can we do for you? I say, thank you for voting for us. And what is that thing that made you to vote PF out so that we avoid it? He is the one that should be coordinating the youths, talking to the youths. But he's not doing it. He's busy going from visiting Ropia Banda to visiting the chief, to useless things, and posting on Facebook all over. Why won't Mr. Menda make a mistake? It is not the responsibility of the party CEO to, to address the use of Zambia. It is government responsibility. And the government is the Minister of Youth and Sports. He was supposed to be, like what happened in, in, in Copper Belt, he was supposed to be in forefront asking the youth what is wrong. What is that thing that you hate about Rashida joining our party? The youth will speak to him. A youth minister must be able to... To, to, we must be able to connect with the youth. You know, he must be able to talk to the youth. He must be able to to influence the youth. That one is not doing anything at all, and that's where the problem is coming from. Everyone knows that there is no opposition party in Zambia, but the youths are the opposition party. When they rise up and decide to say we are going to do this, they are unstoppable. So addressing them the way the SG addressed them today is not okay. But the Minister of Youth is the one responsible for this mistake. And must be held accountable. Because it's not coordinating with the youth. Both him and the Permanent Secretary are just showing off on Facebook unnecessarily. Doing nothing. They are supposed to be in copper belt asking, Youths, what is wrong? What can we do? What can we do? What can we do for you? Coordinate, at least speak to the youth first. Hear from the youth. In Luapula, there is a problem there between the youths and the, the Indians. No, there is no single statement from the Minister of Youth. It's quiet. It doesn't know. It's like the people that are working with HH are hiding. You know, they don't want to associate with his vision. They don't want to, 
they don't they, it's like they they have their own personal agenda to make him unpopular and that will never work H8 is loved by the youth. H8 is loved by everybody as it is now. You can never bring him down. The earlier you start doing your job, the better. What are you doing going from chief to chief when when going from opening stadium and commissioning stadium when 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 the house is on fire? A person whose house is on fire does not have time for entertainment. The minister of youth is the one that's supposed to be going up and down, addressing the youth, telling them the vision of the party. You know, if the youth talk, you carry them and put them in prison. The same thing that PF was doing to the youth, the youth that voted for you. If the youth say, we are not comfortable with this, we are not comfortable with Rashida joining us, we are not comfortable with this Indian exploiting us, instead of you going to address them, you carry them and lock them up in the police station. Are you mad? Which police? Who, who cares about police? How many times did Campiongo use police to intimidate the people of Zambia and the youth of Zambia? What is the outcome? I think it is time that you people that are working for agent comes out and say exactly what you want. If you don't want to work with him, if you don't want to do your job, you resign. It's better for him to appoint people that love zambia not appointing slave queen here and there and you come and embarrass him embarrass his government the man is working he doesn't sleep every day he's here and there trying to put things in order he has given you responsibilities but you're not doing anything in your offices eh? this this what is going on and pf is taking advantage of this as we are talking today PF is working with almost all the media houses in Zambia to look for opportunity to bring you down. And knowing that you PND people love camera, like I said before, I warned you people before, you don't understand PF. PF still has techniques. PF is heavily financed. PF is working with Camnet TV, if you don't know. PF is working with Diamond TV, if you don't know. PF is work, working with a lot of media houses. In Zambia looking for opportunity to bring you down like what happened yesterday you don't understand because you love camera what 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 is the, what what is the responsibility of the AG party party AG eh? is it not to address the party anytime you feel you call for press press briefing PF send their people send their journalists to come and create mistake out of you knowing the power of social media Look at what is happening all over today. Just a simple mistake from the SG. PF is still working with Diamond TV. They are still working with uh, with uh, Camnet TV and so many other online uh, uh, on, 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 online social media networks. Looking for, waiting for you to make a mistake, and you are falling in that trap. You are calling for press briefing. Every day, press briefing. Every day, camera is following you up and down. When youths are suffering, when people that voted for you, people that fought with you, you when you were relaxing in your houses, the youths that was risking their life, going with President Haka Indechilema to everywhere, campaigning with him, are suffering. You are busy calling for press conference. Who are you addressing in your press conference? Eh? PF is taking advantage of that. They send their journalists. They send their people. They have paid up journalists. They have paid up a lot of people to find mistakes from you. And because a diamond does not know how to speak, anytime you open his mouth, he make a blunder. They capitalize. I think it is time for you people to do what is right. Stop talking. You know? Let everyone that has been appointed in the government connect with the people and work for the people especially the ministry of youth and sports this is the this is the heart of the government the youth i think president H.H. must consider firing the minister of youth and sports he's a slay king he doesn't understand his job get somebody that can connect with the youth Somebody that can be able to remove their suit and go to the villages, go, go, go to the compounds, those, those compounds, and ask the youth, what do you want? At least start from there. Let the youth say their mind, and you take it from there. This one is not ready to do that. Please.